Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Randall and Murph here. Today is Monday, March the 28th, 2022 AD. And I've got the, uh, the compound bow here. And we've got a nice, simple but nice handle uh, with a little uh, aimer side here. I mean, nothing uh, fancy, but uh, for, for a beginner uh, compound bow, or someone interested in finding out whether, whether they want to further themselves in archery, this is uh, the way to go. So you got a good pulley system here, and trust me, once you get this thing, <laughs> once you get this thing together, it is not coming apart. Um, trust me, I tried to I tried to take it apart to see if I could take it. It's not happening. Um, you need a bow press to take this thing apart. Uh, it took a little bit of work to get it because there's pressure to. I mean, it, this piece snapped into this piece real easy, and this piece snapped into this piece. But once you put this piece in and connect these two pieces together, it's in there good. Um, it takes a little bit of work, but once it's in there, it's in there. Trust me, it ain't coming out. So uh, thumbs up on that. Um, this is um, has 30 pounds of uh, pressure, and it's got see you see where they put your little the knock on the arrow here for the. So you can you can you can select the height and width there, where you want to put it, and it's it's not that heavy. I mean, it's, there's hardly any weight to it. I mean, it's very again for for a beginner, or uh, a small kid, or um, you know just want to play around, and do some target practice, or to see if you're interested in or really want to get into it further and more. This is a great starter bow, compound bow, and. Uh, I really like it. So uh, the arrows that come with it um, are rounded. The tips are rounded, uh, but the arrows are very nice. Um, the, the sleeve that protects your arm is not very good at all. Um, I basically threw it away. It's basically not even worth the rubber it's made out of. But the the, the bow and the arrows and the target themselves are very nice. And uh, it comes with it also comes with some safety devices. Uh, it comes with four pins, and what you can do is, they're little white pins, and what you can do is you put them in here, and then you put one of the one down here, and that keeps it from keeps it from pulling it back. So if you want to put it in storage, or you don't want somebody messing with it, you can put those little pins in, and it keeps people from, you know, accidentally, or uh, messing with stuff they're not supposed to. Now the pins come in, you can get coming in and go out pretty easily, as far as, you know, if they, uh, when you want to put them in, take them out, they're easy to put in, easy to put out. But the idea of the pins is, if you, you know, if you, if you get your bow sitting somewhere, and you don't want somebody to actually hit it or step on it or you know whatever, uh, it's going to keep it from you know pull, pull, pulling back all the way and uh, causing accidents. So it's really good in that in that uh, respect. So it, you only need two. You need one for up here. And one for the other, but one for each end, and it comes with four, so that's really good. So, um, as beginner compound bows go, overall, it's a really good deal, and I uh, really like it so far. So, uh, with that in mind, overall, two thumbs up. So, next time, I'm Randall and Ruth. Say thanks for watching. Have a good day. God bless. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Randall and Murph here today, and today is, in fact, Tuesday, March 29th, 2022 AD. I've got my little uh, smoke detector here, which is very small and inconspicuous, and uh, it's got an on-off uh, twist on the top, and all you have to do to, to activate it, it comes with a battery, which is good. Uh, it comes with a little, a little cover with some instructions, but the battery's right here. And it's supposed to be good for three years. Um, obviously, I just got it recently, so I don't know if it'll last three years, but it's supposed to. Um, but uh, I'm sure it'll last a long time. Um, cover it up. Align the tabs here with the tabs there. Twist it. And every once in a while, a little orange light. I don't know if it'll go off here. It goes off every so often. I don't know how what the timer set on that is. But if you want to test it, It's very loud. <laughs> All you gotta do is push the button, and you saw the light go off. So if you want to test it, push the button. Like you said, it's, <laughs> I'm not doing it again. It's very loud. 
So just just put it somewhere. You know, I've got it on top of a desk in the other room, um, and you're good to go. Three years. So uh, two thumbs up. I really like the fact that it's it's so small, and it's got it's got uh, as you can see it's got the censoring technology for the smoke and stuff is all the way around. So that's really good as well. So again, two thumbs up. Till next time, I'm Ray Lamb Roof. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. God bless. Wow, it's loud. It's very loud. Which is good. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Ray Lamb Roof here. Today is Tuesday, March the 29th, 2022 AD. I got my kata. Easy to fill and fast cutting. A one pack of 10 inch mini hexel with extra two. 250 millimeter bimetal blades, total of three, because you've got one with the hacksaw itself, and so three blades total. Let's open this puppy up. Okay. So we've got two very sharp, very sharp blades in plastic, which I'm going to leave in plastic. And then you've got Careful. Oh, yeah, that's already down. So that's. Yeah, that's. You gotta be careful. That is sharp. That's the kata. Yeah. And like I said, that's very sharp. Looks very cool. And you got your, got your good. Uh, ooh, ooh, that's metal. I thought that'd be plastic or something, but that's, that's metal. And this is like a hard, rubbery on top of metal. You can, if you look this way, you can see that it's metal. And it's got the rubber coating on it, coating over for. You know, for a good grip. So, I mean, if you're using both hands, that's going to be an amazing tool to have. And it's bimetal, which means it's more than one kind of metal. 250 millimeter long, 24 TPI. I don't know what TPI stands for, but maybe that's. Oh, I know what that stands for. It's two teeth per inch. So, there's um, 24. I don't know if you can see that. 24 teeth per inch, which that means pretty small. I figured it out. <laughs> it, it, was, it made sense. But uh, so you got uh, made out of different metals, 250 millimeters long and 24 uh, teeth per inch. So it, it looks cool, handles good, feels good. And then when I'm ready to hack the metal up, I'm ready to go. So two thumbs up. So until next time, I'm Randall M. Roots. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. God bless. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Randall M. Roof. Today is Tuesday, March the 29th, 2022 AD. I've got my handy dandy, let's see, Umanek Tech, U-M-E-I-N-A-C Tech multi-tool pin set. So it's got a ballpoint pin, a ruler, uh, a bubble leveler. Uh, okay, it's got a ruler centimeter and a ruler uh, inch. A Phillips screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. Huh. And a stylus pencil. Let's open this up. Here's what's in here. Here's what I'm looking at. So, uh, wow. So let's, let's see how this works. It's okay. okay, open it up. Oops, I just dropped something. Alright, let's see what we got here. We got. Okay, I'm not sure. Let's see what this is. This is the. Okay, I got four of these. I'm not sure what they are, to be honest. Oh, these are the pins, I think. They go in the pencil. So there's four of these. I guess it's like the. You can take the tip off and get ready to go. Plus, there's another one, so there's five total. And then you have your pencil. So let's open this puppy up. Okay, so let's see if we got a. Okay, so there's the pen. 
this one off. Check this is, yeah, okay, so there's the, there's the straight one. I'll bet, yep, turn it around. There's the Phillips. So all you gotta do is turn it around. That's pretty nice. I would have never thought. Of course, you've got your, I don't know if you can see that, I'll just get a focus there. Inches and centimeters. And of course, there's the, I don't know if you can see that, how good you can see that, but take right there. You can see the bubble level right there. So you got pin, bubble level, inches, centimeters, Phillips, and straight. And of course, the pin. So that looks really nice. Plus, you got a little, those of you who like to put on your shirt, which I don't, it's just a personal call. That was pretty cool. So, uh, thumbs up. Uh, I apologize for say, not saying this name right. I'm sure I'm not saying it right. Umi Inek Tech. Umi. Umi. Yeah, I can't say it right. Umi Inac Tech. So, you know what? It. Uh, I may not be able to say the, pronounce the name correctly, but they make a, they make a really good product. So, um, again, pen, inches, centimeters, level. Uh, straight and Phillips head screwdriver thing to attach it to your shirt and five extra of these so uh, when you run out of ink you're good to go so until next time I'm Randall and Bruce and thanks for watching have a good day God bless Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Randall and Murph here. Today is Tuesday, March the 29th, 2022 AD. I've got my, and I want to say this right, and I know I'm probably not going to, but it's Umeinac. It's U-M-E-I-N-A-C Tech. Now, I apologize for not saying that name right. But uh, it's a multi-tool pin set, okay? It comes with a stylus top, a bubble level, a standard and metric rulers, retractable pin and a flathead and Phillips uh, screwdriver bits. So seven and one. So let's open this puppy up. Now they have these in different colors. This one is supposed to be a silver color. Looks like. Let's see if they got, okay, they've got extra. Okay, so I've got an extra thing for your pin. In fact, I've got one, two, get them all out here. There's five. So they got five. When your pen runs out of ink, you've got uh, five more. And what those little red things are, those are just protection caps that you just peel off when you're ready to uh, use it. Of course, we got the pen here. Let's look at this little puppy. So, close out the bag real easy enough. We got okay, so twist pen. You've got your, I know I get that in focus here, inches, centimeters. And if you can see that, that's it. you can see the bubble level so you can, you can level things up. And here on the end, you've got your got your straight screwdriver. You can take it out, turn it around. You got your Phillips. So when you're done, you can put the uh, screw the lid back on, and uh, there's your pin ready to go. So pretty nice little little device there. Um, like I said, it comes with extra ink, so you're good to go. So overall, very impressed, very nice. Um, two thumbs up or five, five ink stinks up, maybe, I, I don't know. Anyway, it's a good little, little pen. So until next time, I'm Randall and Ruth, and thanks for watching, have a good day. And God bless you, bye. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Randall and Ruth here. Today is Tuesday, March the 29th. 2022 AD. I've got the high seer, the 
be honest with yourself. And uh, so we're gonna open it up here so we can be honest with ourselves. <laughs> All right, so we got. Let's open it up. This, this is the the slingy stuff you sling it with. One, two, three, four, four. So, and then you've got stuff to sling, which is metal balls, which. And then, third but not last, you have the sling itself, which I'm going to pull up my scissors here. Oh, wait, no, I don't have to get my scissors. Oh. I thought I did, but I don't. Okay, so I've got um, a very, very small sling. I mean, it fits in your hand. It fits in your hand, it's just, it's very small. So you got this, and it comes with your Allen wrenches and your, um, to hold your thing on. So, um, plenty of these to practice with. You got four, four, uh, things ready to go, and, uh, one gray one, one, L, gray and white. Okay, that one's white and gray. That one's white and white. That one's white and white. That one's white and I guess dark, a darker gray. So we got different kind of. I don't know what the if the colors mean anything or it's just different colors. I don't know. Um, turn this stuff over here. I said you got this. This this is very heavy duty. Um, and you can eat, I can tell here you can sit here and. Tighten this down, both sides. So this is, I mean, it's small, but it's heavy duty. It's extremely heavy duty. I mean, that's nothing but metal. And then you've got your, uh, I see that's your aimers. So you can aim with, it's got a round one. So you got there, it's got a, let's see what it is. It's got kind of like a square oblong one, and then it's got a round one. So whichever one you want. And you got a little screw, some screws you can put in. And uh, it doesn't really have any, the, the downside is it doesn't have any instructions, so I assume it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, so uh, I'll be figuring it out here and putting it together, and uh, we'll see what happens here in a little bit. But uh, so far, the materials, the especially the handle, that's just like, that's heavy duty. I mean, that's it ain't going nowhere. Now it's got some um, measurement thingies right now. If you can see that, how well that will show up. It's got some measurement things, so you can uh, adjust it and know where you set it. So so far so good. Uh, I'll let you know what I think uh, after I get it put together in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Rowan Roots. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. God bless. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Randall and Murph here. Today is Tuesday, March 29th, 2022 AD. And I've got my up, ups on. I think that's how you say it. With the key lock box made in China. So we're going to open this puppy up and see what we got here. Comes with a little... I'm not sure how... It's pretty heavy, so it's... I mean, for a small box, it's... Oh wow, it's bigger than I thought, or it's thicker. Okay, so let's go. Of course, um, get some instructions here on how to set how to how to set your combination, which I've had locks some of the list before, so uh, I have a draw idea. But uh, now this is one of those things where you can hang it around your doorknob, or if you want to, it's got holes. Where you can screw it into the wall. So if you want to put it on the wall somewhere, there are holes in it, so you can put it on the wall. So it's whatever you want to do. Uh, it's always good to have those options. And that is, I mean, that's pretty thick. So I was thinking I was gonna put this on the door handle, but as thick as this is, I may end up putting this on the wall. I mean, this is like super. I mean, this is like okay. First of all, it is that's uh, heavy duty, so it's not gonna be like somebody's gonna. 
Uh, well, how do you get into it? Oh, okay. Okay, so it's got a thing. So you can just push down. And out comes your wall mount. So if you want to mount it on the wall, there's one, two, it's like three. Oh, there's one, two, four. Okay, so there's four, four screws and four plastic things to prepare the wall for. And of course, you've got your hook up here. And then you've got this little, oh, that's what this is. There's two little black little doohickeys here. So I'm just going to, um, so you can seal it up if you don't want anybody to even know what it is. Or I would, I mean, I'll be honest, the first look, I was like, well, how do you open it? What you do, and now you just push it down. Now, obviously, I'm going to, okay, um, okay, what you do to reset, I'm pretty sure this is what you do, because I've had one similar to this. There's the A, and then you reset, it, okay, it's it's preset to zero, 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 zero. So let's put it on B. Oh, can you see that? That's going to be hard to see. Because of, uh, okay, you can see. Put it on B. Yeah, I'm on. Maybe there's something I have to push. Well, let's see. Um, well, let's, let's read the instructions here. So we got the open the box. We got the stolen door handle. So it's really not. It's really simple. Um, leave the dials and current location. Um, yeah, that's what I did. It's just this little thing. Oh, okay. You just have to use a little bit of force. I just wasn't pushing hard enough. And then let's just do it. I don't know. Let's just do one, two. I mean, obviously, this isn't going to be good. I'm going to use, but let's just put one, two, three, four. Okay. So, what you do is it's in the B position. Can't really see it, but if you look, I mean, I can see it really easy, but the lighting's not that good for that. But it's in the B position. I reset the code to one, two, three, four for just for now, and then I set it back to the A position, and boom, that's your new combination. So you set it, okay? What you do is you mix it up here, whatever you mix it up to. Obviously, when you push it down, it doesn't, nothing happens. So what I gotta do now is go one, two, three, four. Reset it to one, two, three, four. Push the thing, and boom. It, so it's, resetting the code is very simple. Of course, we can put in our, okay, so that's cool too, okay. So what you do is you got a little that little dude hickey here. Push this in, and it locks it in. And then all you gotta do is if you want to undo it, push it in at the same time, then pull. So if you don't want to use this for your door, you don't have to, uh, which is kind of nice. So what you do is put it around your door, lock it. And then when you're ready to put your stuff in or your keys or whatever you're going to put in there, uh, just shut it up. And then to, to undo this, just push your, of course you enter the combination, open it, and then push your button again. There you go. There you go. So, very nice. Very, I mean, that's... Um, I mean, this is definitely metal, so it's very rugged. And it's even look, it's even a thing. I don't think you see this. It's even a thing to put your keys on. If you want to put like individual keys on there, it's kind of, you probably can't see the way I'm holding it up. But there's there's little hooks back here, and then there's the there's the holes if you want to mount it to the wall. So it's really you know, if you want to mount it to the wall, or you want to mount it on your door, 
whatever you want to do. Because, you know, that is, that is seriously, that is very durable. I mean, they've got, they've got a padding on the back. So, uh, obviously, when you put it on the wall, it won't go crazy. But, uh, very heavy duty. And, uh, wow. What I'm going to do, for at least for right now, is put the stuff I want to put in it. Put it on the door. Change the combination, of course. And then, I'll be ready to go. And then, of course, seal it up. And your stuff's safe in here. I mean, you know, nobody's going to break into this uh, without a lot of trouble. I mean, this this is extremely durable. Um, I'm very impressed. Two thumbs up. Two. So, um, like I said, you got the... Uh, the screws to mount it on the wall, and these little things you can. I'm not sure if that's for. Maybe that's just for filling in the holes, or if you, if you don't want to uh, put all the screws in the hole. You know, if you, it's got four holes if you just want to do two screws or whatever, you got extra things to put in the hole. Anyway, very impressive, and uh, wow, heavy duty. So until next time, I'm Randall and Ruth saying thanks for watching. Have a good day. God bless. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Randall and Murph here. Today is Tuesday, March 29th, 2022 AD. And I've got my lensatic compass, prismatic compass, military lensatic sighting, and chick proof, army green, new, made in China. So let's open this puppy up. I'm hoping this has Okay, so it's got a case. I like the case. It's, you can put it on your belt, so that's kind of cool. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, not very high quality printing job, the graphics, but uh, it's readable. Okay, I'll have to. The illustrations are very poorly printed off, but the text is very readable, it's just very small. Let's see what we got. We got the, like I said, we got the bag. We got the belt loopy thing. This is very nice. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Nope. Okay. Okay. So we got the, uh, wow, this is very well made. Wow. I don't know if I like the string, but the compass itself is pretty well. Wow. Okay. It's got some kind of chart on it. It's hard to read. Let's see. It says, Winnicle, Stegen, Brett's, I can't read it. something, angle, angle, gradient, distance. Uh, so maybe if it, I don't see that. It's, it's readable, but it's very, very small. Uh, of course, the actual compass is the main part here. And again, I'm not a big fan of this little itty bitty string. But let's open her up. Oh, wow. That, okay. The compass itself. Is, oh, my gosh. This is the best compass I've ever seen. As far as an actual compass, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. So it's got, let me see if I can, see if I can show you the air, there's an air bubble in there. Let's see if I can show it to you the way it's, well, I'll try to it's there. And there's an air bubble level right here, so yeah, you can see that one. I think you can see the air bubble right there. Yeah, see it moving? Yeah, so there's an air bubble there, an air bubble there. This is the nicest. It's got a nice boom. It's got, that's what, it, this is nice. Again, not too, not, the string's kind of hokey, but uh, the compass itself is amazing. That is, oh my gosh. Then, of course, you can, you can line up your, your side here. And wow, you can, so you can see your, this has got to be the coolest compass I've ever actually seen or you handheld one that I've ever had so the that's plastic I think I think that little handle there is plastic but either way you can pull it back I and mean, that's why I don't know. I'll put, put it like that when I put it in the case but uh, 
Again, not too happy with the string or this little handle thing, but the compass itself is very amazing. Wow. And that's what you're after anyway. So uh, you've got some measurement marks here on the side. You've got uh, wow, I'm just, I'm just very impressive. So thumbs up. So until next time, I'm Ringo and Roof saying thanks for watching. Have a good day. God bless. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Randall Lamb Roof here. Today is Tuesday, March 29th, 2022 AD. I've got my Link Boy Archery Professional Archery Hunting and Shooting Manufacturer uh, arrow tips. And that comes in a nice case. Uh, simple but nice. It's got four latches. Two in the front, one on each side. You open them up, it's cushioned. Because it's got some very very sharp hunting tip. These are for, for, for professional hunters. Uh, I'm more into target shooting than uh, hunting, so I will probably be giving these away to some people I know that uh, do hunting. I'm just going to pull one of these out because these are very sharp. Look at these puppies. I mean, each one of those edges right here, I know, be careful. I mean, you can touch them, but you definitely wouldn't want to run your because they're razor blade sharp. Plus, the tips themselves are pointed. So, like I said, this is a high-end uh, hunting. If you're going to be hunting for to kill deer, uh, this would definitely be the way to go. These are very serious. And uh, they're very sharp. You can even see the bag that they came in is all torn up. Cause it's, but like I said, you gotta, you got to be careful with these because they're, they're, they're not toys. They're for serious professionals, and they're very sharp. So you have to be absolutely careful when you're handling them. And that's why I'm wrapping them up and putting them in the case. Um, because I don't want to hurt myself or anybody else. I get to let anybody else hurt themselves. And uh, make sure I can shut the case here. But uh, they're high quality. They're very nice. And uh, I know some people who will probably enjoy uh, hunting, some, doing some hunting with these. So uh, very high quality, very sharp, very professional. Two thumbs up. So uh, until next time, I'm Randall and Roof. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. God bless. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Randall and Roof here. Today is Tuesday, March 29th, 2022 AD. I've got my, I just opened up my Outdoor Survival Walter Filter Straw. Comes in this little package. And it comes with some instructions. And it came with this, but I didn't really like it, so I took it off. Um, it's just, I don't like it. I mean, that's just, again, personal preference. So you've got the actual straw, you've got, I tested it earlier, a very loud whistle. Now you have to blow a little bit harder than normal, but once you hit the right amount of air pressure, it's very, very loud. Hurt my ears back, there was so much ringing. So what you do is twist a little bit, pull it off, and there's the part you suck through uh, when you're, I think you're strong the water, your dirty water. Got a compass, which is kind of nice. Wasn't expecting that. I'm not, I'm, I'm not even going to try to say that name. Um, but that's your mate. <laughs> and then what you do is you can uh, you got, you got a little reflective mirror. So if you want to reflect your light or whatever, you can do that. And what you got here is a little, let's see if you can see that. Maybe I'll close it. What you can do is then is put your, put your straw onto your, a little bit of work, not too much work. There we go. Okay, so then you can stick in this into your dirty water or your spring water. Ideally, it's spring water or you know river water, or whatever. And the idea is that you take this off, stick this in the, the water, and there are filtration stones and thing filters in here that filter the water 
So when you drink it, it's safe to drink. Um, of course, the downside is you don't really you have to carry this separate. There's no container or case to attach to the straw, but uh, so you have to carry two things around. But having said that, uh, it's a nice little tool. I just like you said. Um, and again, I can I can see why some people might like this little thing. I personally just don't. Um, but the thing I don't like is the fact that the straw is separate, and it, I wish there was some way, kind of way for it to be attached to the device, either inside it or whatever. But because you, when you carry this, you have to carry this with it, with you separate. So, other than that, nice little nice little uh, safety tool that could, in the emergency situation, save your life. So, uh, until next time, I'm Randall on Roof saying thanks for watching. Have a good day. God bless. Bye. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Randall on Roof here. Today is Tuesday, March 29th, 2022 AD, and I have a very large bag, or box, I should say, a box of Bic Revolution pens. Long lasting ballpoint pens. So there's four boxes of 50. So this <laughs> this is going to last a very long time. Um, so what I'm gonna do is oh wait a minute, well yeah they're all they're blue ink. They're all blue. Okay, so I just take my scissors and open up to get the plastic started here. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna pull one of them out here. And let's pull out like that. So, and that's one box of so 50. And I've got three more over here. Now, the main thing, or well, one of the main things about pans, whether they're good or bad, is how much work you have to do to get them, you know, when you first get them to get them going. So, I got a little pad of paper here. This is my first pen. It's called Bic uh, Round Stick Recyclable 74%. So after I throw it away, or don't throw it away, I can recycle it. So, and 74% recyclable, I think, is what that means. Or maybe it's made by with 74% recycled. Either way, it's good for the, it's good for the environment. So first try here. We're gonna see what we can. Boom. It's good to go right off the bat. So that means these are going to be good pins. I mean, that's, that's one of the tests I have for a good pin is, you know, you pull it out of the box, you pull it out for the first time, and boom, it's it's going. So, thumbs up. So, uh, like I said, for me personally, these are going to last a long time. Now, obviously, if you've got a, a staff or an office where, you know, um, a lot of people need them. Obviously, it's not going to last as long as you guys spread around. But, but for me, these will last for years. Um, and uh, yeah, I won't have to. I'm not going to have to buy pins now for a very long time. So that's good. And like I said, they start right out of the box, which for me is the most one of the most important things. And uh, it's comfortable and. Uh, I'm very satisfied. So, uh, two thumbs up. So, until next time, I'm Randall and Rube saying thanks for watching. Have a good day. God bless. Bye. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Randall and Rube here. I got my Go Go Goal. I've already opened these up, so I'm going to show you what we get. You get four pairs of these with the little grippies on the bottom, which is, I've never had the sock with that on there before, so that's kind of neat. So that'll definitely keep you from slipping on the floor because I like to, I'm the kind of person, I like to wear them around the house. And part of the floor is our carpet and part of it is like a hardwood. So we have different, uh, then of course in the kitchen you have the, the uh, I don't know what you call it, but it's like, um, it, you can't, you could slip on it if, if you don't have, if you're not careful. So um, these should be just fine for that. And uh, they feel good, and they're nice and soft, and they're thick. 
I mean, they're not too thick, but they're not too thin. You know what I'm saying? You can tell. And, uh, look, it even says right. <laughs> it's even got a little R for right, which I've never seen before. And a L for left. So that's different. I've never, I've never seen a pair of socks with an R for right, <laughs> L for left. So that's, I guess it's kind of nice. And, uh, I've got, uh, four pairs of them. So, uh, there's two pairs and... I take the little metal clips off. I got metal clips here for each pair, which I don't really like the metal clips. In my opinion, they're not necessary, but I guess if maybe if you we were selling these one pair at a time, that might be a good thing. So I can get all the metal clips off, but you do have to be careful because those are these are. Those are small, and if you drop them on the floor, you can step on it, you can hurt yourself. So that's the reason I don't like little metal clips. Um, but the socks themselves are very nice. And uh, like I said, I've never had socks with little actual rubbery grips, so that's definitely going to be nice as well. So, uh, and they feel nice. They smell new. You can you, they got that new smell to them, so that's good. And uh, so thumbs up. So until next time, I'm Randall and Ruth, saying thanks for watching every day. God bless. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Randall and Ruth here. Today is Tuesday, March 29th, 2022 AD. And I've got a paint marker, paint markers, overseas paint markers, an eight-piece set. So I've got eight markers. And I've got my little handy-dandy scissors here. Okay, to open these up with, so I'm just going to... A little bit to, to get the wrapping going. And this says oil based paint pen, permanent paint marker, new, made in China. Okay, so you got a mark on anything, oil based. So basically, shake, you got to shake it up, air it out, and then press. And I've had markers like this before, so these are nice. Um, they're made by a company called Overseas. And, uh, okay, then I got that wrapper off. Let's see what we got to do here. Okay, I'm just going to take them out of the time marker in case I'm not on. I'm going to put, I got a little thing I'm going to put in. But that's what they look like. And you've got, uh, is that brown or gold? It says on here, super rain. Low snow, that's always good. Anyway, that's the color. It looks, I would say that's a brown or gold. You got a white, a black one. That's probably a brown, that first one. B blue. I know on the screen it looks purple, but that in real life it's blue. Uh, you got a gray one. Pull up here. Oh, there you got a yellow one. Orange one that kind of matches my shirt that I'm wearing now, and and then a red one that's kind of bright. So what I'm going to do here is each one of them is wrapped uh, in. So you kind of have to twist it to break the seal on the plastic. And then normally what you have to do is these come kind of are. See, they have a white tip, so what you have to do, start off with, you have to take off real good. You see, it's still white, even though I'm shaking it up, it's still white, so what you have to do is take your pad of paper here, and put the you can see it's starting to come down now. Okay, so now that the tips, and I'm telling you, I know I'm looking at the screen, I'm looking at the pen. The pen in reality is blue. I know it looks purple, but it's actually blue. So what you do, once you, once you get it going, you're, you're good to go. So um, these, are, these are really nice. I mean, they... So you've got all these different colors. 
And uh, like I said, it's, it, it takes a little bit of time to get it going, but that's how they work. And once they get, once you get it, shake it up and get a little bit going through, boom, you're good to go. They're amazing. Uh, I've had these, uh, not this particular brand, but I've had, had some like them. And we had to, you know, we had to shake it up and stuff. And they last really good. And these are no different. So, um, very impressed. Thumbs up. Until next time, I'm Randall and Roof. Same thanks for watching. Every day. God bless. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Randall M. Roof here. Today is Tuesday, March 29th, 2022 AD. And I got my Jasuri, Jasuri Performance for Survivors, Fashion Alloy Buckle, Tactical Belts. It's tactical Belts. Got a picture of Wolf, too. So we final place of it. Ah, right there. And inside the box is a nice little bag. Which I may use for something else later. That's a nice bag. It smells good too. Let's see, unloopy, unloopy loop it here. Loop together, and already I can tell it's a high quality belt. Oh my gosh, that is so cool! I love this. Oh, oh my gosh, I love these. These are so amazing. I would say that's brown or silver. It's hard to tell. I would say that's a silver, or it could be. You could call it right. It looks more kind of a. But man, that is like. Look at that. You can tell it's for belts. That's like heavy duty material. That's all. This is going to last a long time. And I love the fact that all you got to do, so cool. All you got to do is stick it in the length you want, click it, and there you go. Well, generally speaking, maybe I pull a little harder than I should. <laughs> Oops. Again. All right. Well, anyway, okay, there it is now. It's it's good to go. I guess apparently to start off you had to fix it better, but it was in there loose. But it's in there tight now. It's boom, baby. That's serious. Can't pull apart now. <clears throat> Once you get it put it in there the way it's supposed to, you're good to go. So, and that is an amazing. Of course, it's got these little. I haven't quite figured that. Oh, take. I'm, is there just one of those? Uh, I might leave that on there because you might. I mean, you know, if you, if you have, if you have enough, I guess you know stuff like here. Putting a. That's the wrong one. That's the one I want. So if you have like this much sticking out, and you want to fold it in. And the fact that this is adjustable to different places, that's really nice as well. So, and this is normally you just have one uh, adjustment for this, but this has got one. This has got an adjustment for this side and this side, so you can adjust. Which is kind of nice. So adjust, you can adjust this side, pop this side, and it pops up real easy too, so it's not that hard. So that's really nice. And this is a really good belt. And this will go with the. This is nice. So uh, once I got it set, it's good to go. And it's high quality material. It should last a long time. So I'm very impressed with this. Two thumbs up. So until next time, I'm Randall and Bruce, and thanks for watching. Have a good day. God bless. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Randall and Roof here. Today's Tuesday, March 29th, 2022 AD. Got my new so large capacity pencil school office home, a new made in China. So, uh, 
open it up. No, yeah, I got my scissors yet, but I don't need them. And then I got, ooh, it's got a little, ooh, that's kind of nice. It says, powerful style. So, it's not made the way I thought it was, but it's still very nice. And it's got two zippers, so you get two sides here. So you can put your, I don't know, what you, whatever you want to put in there, I guess. So this is what I was expecting with the pencil thing on that side. Then on the other side, we got, let's see what it looks like. Well, well, I can get the zipper to, yes, okay, know, maybe there's something inside it. Okay. It's just a little finicky. Okay, so you've got room, you've got like extra room here. And then you've got room for pins and more pins and whatever you want to put in these two little compartments. Good to go. So, uh, nothing fancy, but it's just a, it's a nice pencil case and you can put other stuff in it too. But it's, ma it's made for pencils or, or pens and pencils. And uh, that's what I'll be using it for. Put some pins in. Um, so it's a nice little case. It's called... Uh, Powerful style. So overall, not too bad. Until next time, I'm Randall and Ruth, and thanks for watching every day. And God bless you. Bye. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Randall and Ruth here. Today is Tuesday, March 29th, 2022 AD. And I've got a pair of Norty 8. I guess is how you say that. And it is... Let me just look on the inside and see what it says. Uh, okay, let's go here. Um, SNWS222M US13. Now, I normally wear 14s, but I can get away with 13, so I got these. Uh, they're navy colored, made in China. And first of all, let me say again, I say this in every video where I get a package like this. I like the fact it's got an easy open. These, Easy open bags are that's a good start. A good start, no matter what your product. And these are aqua shoes or shoes you got know, like poodle shoes you wear. Um, so it's got a little plastic wrapper in here. And I'll show you what they got. I'll show you what they look like. They're paper on the inside. Those are very nice. I like these. These are these are just the kind of material you like, and the fact that they've got Velcro, so you can adjust it. It's good. I like the Velcro. I've never had a pair of Velcro. Normally, you slip your foot in. But these have Velcro, so it gives you a little bit more adjustability. And as you can see, the bottom is really nice, and it's even got holes for the water to drain out of. So if you get water in them, which you probably will if you're Seriously, near a pool or a lake or wherever you're at, it's got a place for them to drain. So that's really that's thumbs up. It smells good too. It's got that new aqua shoe smell. So very nice. Boom. Plus, they look. I like that design too. That's a cool design. So until next time, I'm Randall and Ruth. Same thing. Watching every day. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Randall and Roof here. Today is Tuesday, March the 29th, 2022 AD, and I've got men's pullover fleece hoodie, heavyweight sweatshirt, black, 4XL, so it should be plenty big. In fact, it says it right there too, 4XL. So let's open this puppy up. It's awful hard. It feels awful hard. So I'm not sure why it's so hard for a hoodie. Maybe it's the way they make them. I don't know. Let's see. I see why it's so. It just feels. Maybe it's just. It's, maybe it's air packed or something. I think that's what it is. I think it's the fact that it's back, it, just, it looks like it's vacuum packed. Yeah, that is. 
That is completely vacuum packed. There's no, there's no, uh, there's no spare air in this one. So I'll bet you as soon as I uh, open this thing, it'll be able to just be like, Shh. let's see what we get here. I'll try to see if I can. You can hear the air going into it. But it, they got this thing back in the pack. Oh, look, yeah. And now that it's done, that it's real soft. Wow. Well, this is not. It's just I've never seen a sweat, a sweat, a hooded sweatshirt like that vacuum packed. I, it's, it's a good way to do it and keep it preserved. It keeps it keeps it from getting wet, and it saves space because you can get rid of the air, extra air. Um, but wow, this is nice. This feels good. Oh wow! And da -da -da -da. check this puppy out. Now I don't think this one has a string on it or a zipper. I think this is just one you pull over. Yeah, this is just one you pull over. So this is a pullover. This isn't a zipper. I mean, it's got strings for the hood. And um, I'll uh, I'll put it on and take some pictures so you can see the pictures. But uh, this is very. It feels good. It feel it's smells really good. Feels really good. Look at that. It's pretty thick material. So this this should last a while. It's. I mean, it's a simple black color, but uh, it's very nice. So. Uh, So overall, uh, like I said, I'm going to take some, uh, put it on, take some pictures, and put it with this video so you can see what it looks like when I wear it. But uh, overall, right now, I'm pretty impressed. So until next time, I'm Randall M. Roof saying thanks for watching. Have a good day. God bless. Bye. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Randall M. Roof here. Today is Tuesday, March 29th, 2022 AD. Uh, I've got a pair of Swedex steel toed shoes, uh, black, made in China, and they've got some weight to them, so let's open this puppy up and see what we got here. So this is more of like an athletic shoe with a steel toe in it, so this is like heavy duty tennis shoes, which is kind of nice. Um, I've got some scissors here. Let me pull out my scissors here. I'm going to pull out the piece of the shoe and just back that up and get it going here. And I'll be honest, it's not very often you have like well, what I would consider a tennis shoe with a steel toe. So normally it's boots or so I mean if you're like in the serious sports or this is like you know I mean, first of all look at the bottom that's a little that's a little different for I guess that's so the water can go down it. I mean that's a, that's a different kind of bottom that I've ever seen in a shoe before. And it's Swedex S U A D E X. It's very nice. It's just different. And uh, hmm. so it says 48. I don't know what 48 means. I I'm a size 14, so hopefully that's going to be the right size here. But uh, that may be like in metrics or something. But it's a tie shoe. I mean, it's all uh, there's no Velcro. But you can tell from about, let's see, let's see, see if I can feel it. Well, let's see if I can get it. Maybe if I do it this way. Right there, all of a sudden here, that's, this is like soft. And that's where the steel toe is. So that's, that's nice. And it's got the, it's got kind of the nice, so that's like a, I mean, it's a serious shoe. And, uh. Uh, Swedex. So, uh, 
Definitely got the new shoe smell to it, that's for sure. And uh, looks nice, feels good. Like I said, steel toed in a tennis shoe. That's pretty, uh, pretty good. So, I'll admit, uh, I ordered a size 14 because I have, I can wear 13s, but 14s are comfortable, are really ideal. And it says here on the box, it says 48. So I'm kind of curious about that. But uh, other than that, the shoe is high quality. There's no doubt about it. The strings are nice. The material, the shoe is very good. I really like these white stripes. This is kind of cool. It would be kind of neat if the white stripes had gone up farther. But that, that's a small point. And the, bot is, the bottom of these are very unique. I've never seen a shoe with a bottom like that. So, I mean, I mean uh, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just it's I've never seen one like that before. And the fact that it's got steel toed shoe, or this, there's a steel toe right there. You can't look at it. You can you can see where the where the steel toe kicks in right there. It's kind of rounded, and that's all of this is steel toe. So they're very nice. Um, I'm very impressed. So there you go. Four. So until next time, I'm Randall M. Roof. Same thing for watching. Have a good day. God bless. Bye. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Randall M. Roof here. Today is Tuesday, March 29th, 2022 AD. And I've got my mild highlighter, 25 color. Look at all those colors. There's so many colors. Oh, look. Cat stickers. Highlighters and cat stickers. Everybody loves a cat sticker. And then there's one, two, three, four, five. I think it's a, it has to do with the name brand of the product. I'm not sure. It's called Zo Zo Zoki Zoshi. I don't know. Z O S X I. It's right here. I, uh, highlighter, pen, middle inner. Friendly ink, color 25 pack, that's what it says. Uh, not suitable for children under three years old. Contains small parts. Beware of swallowing by children. So don't let your little children have this. Right? For our ages are under three years old. So four years old and up. He says, at least that's what they recommend. So I've got a little pad of paper here. Uh, I'll show you here that I'm going to get one of these out and do some. And it opens up pretty easily. Uh, let's see what color do I want to choose. There are so many to choose from. We got different greens, yellows, oranges, pinks, blues, orange, orange, yellow, brown, peachy, yellow, purple. Let's try the blue. Let's see what the blue looks like. All right. So I want to get my. This is just one of. I only got one on each end, so that's pretty cool. So you got your, wow, that's nice. So you got one on that end. Let's see how this end works. Okay, this is, so one end is like a fine tip, and then one's kind of like a, got a little bit of a, some thickness to it. So you can see the difference here. This one is, you know, I mean, of course you can do it this way, but it's not, the thickness. So the other one, one end is like a fine tip, and then the other one got the wider. So you so you have options, which is really cool. And then, so you can put the lid, lid on both ends. There's so many different colors. Um, whether you're using these as highlighters, uh, which is probably what I would use them for. Or if you're, you know, if you're letting some kids use this for like for coloring, they would enjoy that too. So, either way, either way you're using, there's so many options. There's so many. It's really, really cool. I really like this. This is nice. Uh, and it's water resistant, so that so that means after you after you do it, if you get to actually spill a cup of water or something on it, it should stay there. So, um, like I said, I'm just they're really nice. Um, and there's different colors. I just like these. There's just so many. Oh, let me show you this cat sticker. Let's see it pull out. The, gotta see the. Gotta see it close up on the cat stickers. 
Oh, I'm sorry. This is not. This is not a sticker. This is a temporary tattoo. I thought it was a sticker. Uh, so obviously I'm not gonna use this, but um, I thought it was a sticker. It's a tattoo thing, so I'm not gonna use this. But the markers are, are excuse me, highlighters are very nice and there's lots of them and there's lots of different colors and they've got two thick the tips have two sides there's a thicker tip and a fine tip depending on which end you use so thumbs up very impressed um plus the case is not too bad either so that's pretty nice so thumbs up on this um so until next time i'm randall and ruth thanks for watching have a good day God bless. Bye. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Ryan and Murph here. Today is Tuesday, March 29th, 2022 AD. I've got my legend. And it says, Legend Bow Scale. Uh, legend Outdoor Industries. Lose D Delaware. I guess that's D Delaware, right? 19958 USA. Made in China. So for full disclosure, open it up. It doesn't weigh hardly anything at all. I mean, there's a little bit of weight to it, but not much. And, ooh, let's see what we got here. We got bow scale instructions. Okay, basically, some instructions. Of course, I'm not going to read it. You know that's the case. <laughs> uh, is there, okay, then you got the, the thing itself. Uh, let's see if there's a battery. It's got a little sticker on it. It has FCC. Of course, I won't pull, peel that off. Mm -hmm. Peel that off. I don't want that on there. Um, let's see if the battery. Okay, the battery's already in there, so that's good. It is, let's see, what is it? CR20. 32L lithium uh, battery, three volts. So turn it on. And you pull your, and when you do your bow, I don't have my bow with me right now, but you can tell me I'm pulling. You can tell how much weight I'm pulling. So that's very nice. And see, it says two point. The, max, the maximum was two point six two kilograms. I wonder if it has pounds. Um, okay, hold on. Let me see if I can switch it here. Nope. Oh, yep. Yeah, it does. It can. Okay, it goes from pounds to kilograms. That's how many pounds I can pull just by pulling. 6.62 pounds. That's nice. So what you have to do to change from kilograms to pounds is you have to push the button, hold down for a few seconds, and then a little thing comes on here, then you push it again, and it switches from the kilograms thing, which is right here, to this little thing down here that says pounds. So that's very nice. All you gotta do is put it in there and you know pull your string and boom. That's nice. I really like this. This is really cool. Um I may not use it a lot, but when I need to use it, it's simple, it's easy, and uh it's easy to it'll be easy to pack away in uh in my bag or with my supplies. So uh and the fact that it has a very small battery is good too. So, um, overall, I'm really impressed. Um, so if I just, I don't think I need to turn it off. Okay, just push it once and turn it off. Boom. So, a really cool little tool for archers, whether you're just starting out or you're a professional. Uh, so, two thumbs up. Until next time, I'm Ray Lamar Ruth. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. God bless. 
Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Randall M. Murph here. Today is Tuesday, March 29th, 2022 AD. And I've got a little box here that says uh, Pocket Multi Tool with Nylon. It says, I can't read the first word, but it's real small. Okay, let's. Got a pair of scissors. It's got some tape on it. So I'm going to pull out my scissors here and try and give it a four so we can open it up here. Okay, the first thing you got is this little thing with two screws and two, I don't know what those are for, I'll have to look at the tool we got here. Okay, the first thing I like that I'm going to say that before you even look at the tool, the fact that it comes with a pouch to put it in, thumbs up. The fact that it has a thing you can put on your belt loop on the pouch, Two thumbs up. Okay, so we got, let me open this up here. We've got, okay, cover for soft materials. Huh, okay, that's, according to this, it's a wire cutter that you, you can install. Okay, let's, look, let's just look at the tool. I may or may not even add it, but, but this looks nice. I, like I said, I can't say enough. I love, first of all, this is a high quality pouch. The Velcro fits nice. It's got a belt loop thing you can put in. Um, and the, wow, look at that. That looks, feels nice. Got a little plastic bag, take it off. Look at all the stuff in that. I mean, it feels M A E R D. Now, I've, that's a name I've not heard before. Let's open this puppy up. We can check this puppy out. Boom. Spring loaded. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's spring loaded. There's a spring in there. There's. Oh my gosh, there's all kinds of stuff. Okay, so we've got here. We got to I'm trying to figure out how do we. Um... Okay, so there's a little clip. There's. Um, what we got here? Okay, so we got some tools. Let's see if I can. I may have to read how to open them to get them out. Uh, there's a button here, but I'm trying to figure out what this does. All right, if all else fails, read the instructions, right? Okay, it says, open the scissors until they lock, instructions for use of scissors. Please clean the inside of the product. Be careful when opening and closing any end. Okay. But it doesn't say, there's a little black thing right here, and I'm trying to figure out what that does. Do you pull it? It looks like you push it. Push it, and it's... Okay, there, okay, there they come. So you push it, and you got... You put they're they're in there real good is my point. You put you push that black thing and then you've got whatever this is, I think that's some kind of thing that's fishing. There's a Phillips head screwdriver. So you've got two tools there. Plus I think that's a bottle opener. Um, so you got that. I think what you do is you put, you're supposed to push. Yeah, it's tough to push. Look. Man, that's near good. Yeah, let's push it some more and see what happens. Yeah, those are in there good. Let me pull my scissors out here so I can get these tools out. Okay. 
Well, the idea is that you're supposed to push this and then the tools come out, but they're in there so good that it takes some work. Okay, so you've got three very similar yet a little bit different tools. Um, let's see, can you push? I'm trying to see if there, oh, maybe there's a saw. Oh, okay. This one you just, okay, this one, okay, this one you just pull out. Let me just say this, they're in there very good, so they're not, they don't come out. That was a pair of scissors, so I can figure out how to. They're very, maybe it's just the fact that I can get, yeah, okay, this one looks like it'll come out pretty easy. I think. I say that, then I push that one in. Okay, that one comes out pretty good. There's a saw. I'll try not to cut myself so you can. So if you want, you can take it and you know do like that and you have a saw. So that's kind of nice. I, I, I'm really liking it. It's just having never used it and it's some of the, it's still very tight in the thing. So what you can do is, I think, is push down, push those down. Okay, okay, I see there's a button right here. You push this down, then it goes back. You have to push the button. Same thing with the scissors. Over here you have a sharp knife. So it's just a matter of getting used to how the tool works. Then what you have to do to push the blade in is you have to push this down. And then push the blade out. I really like it. It's just I'm not familiar with it. So it's but it's a matter of pushing pushing this button down or this button down. Um, and then like I said, if you don't don't want that and you want the want to use the knife, you can pull out your ooh, there's a file fi, uh, nail file that looks very cool. And then there's a measuring thingy on the right here. On one side you've got two inches, and the other side you've got up to seven centimeters. So depending on which side you want to use. So there's a lot of tools here. It's just a matter of okay, there's a so what you can do is you can put it up like this, and then you can pull this out. And what that does is that gives you a, a good grip when you want to use your knife or your saw. And then what you can do is push this button right here with a I'll push right here, push that in. And then I can pull out the, the, the scissors. So I've got scissors. So I really like it. It's just I'm, I won't, Since I've never used one of these before, it's uh, there's a little bit of a learning curve on doing it. But once you get it, boom. This is a heavy duty tool. Boom. So there's lots of nice tools. And uh, yeah, this will be the one I put in my bag, take with me because uh, I really like it. It's just a matter since I've never used one of these before of learning the buttons. So now that I know how to use the buttons and pull them out, um, wow, I'm just very impressed. And again, the fact that it has a case, um, Velcro, so I'm very impressed. And like you said, as you can just saw, I had a little bit of a learning curve to figure out how all the tools went. But now that I have it, boom, I love it. So uh, there you go. Two thumbs up. Heavy duty. Uh, it's oiled, but you can tell that you got some oil on it so that it's, you know, uh, going to do the way it should. And uh, if I take care of it properly, it should last a very long time. And this is definitely going to go in my... Uh, bag. I've got several similar to this, but this is the one that's going in my bag. So until next time, I'm Randall M. Roof. Two thumbs up for the product. And thanks for watching. Have a good day. God bless.
Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Randall and Murph here. Today is Tuesday, March 29th, 2022 AD. And I've got my heat tough, heat of, I don't know how you say it, fever your joy. How did you say it? Heat of, heat of at tough, I don't know. Anyway, size 6 to 12, uh, 10 to 13, 6 pairs black, multicolor. Made in China, of course. But uh, anyway, let's open this up. First of all, let me say, packaging like this, I really like. I can't say that enough. Packaging you get, where all you gotta do is open it up. So there's thumbs up to begin with. One thumbs up. So you've got, ooh, these are nice. Okay, yeah, they're different, definitely different colors. So you've got, let me see what we got here. We've got a pair of blue now I realize on screen it looks kind of purple and I don't know why that is but that's just the way it is um, but you've got a pair of black that looks in real life it's blue <laughs> even though it shows up on the camera it's purple don't ask me why it's just the lighting I guess and then I've got some green ones that look pretty cool I like that but here are some something there yellow now again this is the second pair or kind of socks that I've got that has it has the left L for left and turn this one over to the other one it's got the R for right so this is um, the uh, second sock I've got that have that on there it's until today it's the first kind I've got to have that see I've got the this is the orange one it's got the R for right and the L for left so, and that's the orange one. And then they got. All right. Well, I would call this maybe. Well, maybe that is orange. I guess you call this one orange too. Those two look pretty much. Okay, I got two oranges. Maybe they're a little bit different. Oh, uh, they're pretty close to the same. And then, of course, you got the gray. So, those are nice. They're soft, they smell good. They're very nice. So. So there you go. Uh, six pairs of socks that look very nice. Um, I think my favorite's the blue. Even, even though on the screen they look purple, they are blue, take my word for it. Um, but, uh, I don't know. The yellow ones look kind of good. I mean, they all look nice. Don't get me wrong, but the, the gray one, I kind of like the gray ones too. So that's just personal preference. But uh, they're all high quality. Uh, you can tell they've got the got the little thing that goes around the back of the heel of your foot, so it gives it a little bit more. Uh, I guess you can call it uh, stability. Not a whole lot, but enough to. It has, that, it has that little bit of extra bit, which helps a little bit. So that's always a positive. So uh, six pairs of socks. Very nice. Looks good. Smells good. Feels good. Thumbs up. So until next time, I'm Brandon Lane Bruce. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. God bless.